so in the last video, we planted Grandma's field, and we also harvested our other field back over there. And now we need to get it cultivated so we can get ready to plant it. So we had Jeff uh, turn on the quad track before he left his truck is right over there that gray one right there so um we are going to be running the case 620 quad track today um this is a really nice tractor um very nice if i can even if i can get into the tractor that would be absolutely wonderful so we are going to take this and uh back it up to the cultivator and um i don't know how long this is actually going to take us because it's like 11 12 o'clock in the morning right now it's very very late at night um i figured we might as well get an early start on this while we have and uh hopefully nothing goes wrong because that would obviously not be good for us because uh, well then we wouldn't be able to plant anything on this field so one thing that we are going to do is we are actually going to bring down these cruise control to 10 miles an hour um it's how fast we are going to be cultivating the field because um well i would like to get this done fairly quickly um it's yeah that that's how it, it, it's very late at night right now um i like working this late to be honest with you guys no i don't do we have to to make this farm profitable yes um do i wish that we could change it yes um am i gonna complain yes <laughs> um so we are doing that um shouldn't be too long for us here um kind of just gonna go along and uh <clears throat> go at 10 miles an hour and uh, probably go until you know we get tired or uh, something of that nature happens and we are supposed to get a little bit of rain in soon so hopefully um, that doesn't bother us any um, and it can actually ho I'm hoping it doesn't get too muddy because if it gets a little too muddy, then um, obviously we won't be able to finish this, which um, I mean, we kind of need to have it finished so we can plant it and get crop for the uh, summer, and well, so we can plant now and then have everything go so we can harvest it soon because uh, I think grandma's field is actually going to be the first one to be ready to harvest because of how long ago we planted that field but luckily her field isn't her field's not that big so in my opinion it's not going to take us that long probably around two days maybe max it'll take us um don't think it'll take too long but um you never know, especially farming, because everything always takes, always takes its time, and, uh, a lot of things don't go the way that you expect them, or want them to go, which kind of sucks, not gonna lie. So, I guess that we should, uh, cue a time lapse. Uh
Well, boys, I, unfortunately, the rain has caught up to us. Um, we're gonna stop right up here, and um, luckily, we actually do have some stuff to do. Um, we can go pick up our new sprayer from town because, uh, well, we do need to do that. So, I'm gonna fold this bad boy up, and I think we are just going to leave this outside maybe i'm not 100 percent sure what we are going to do with it just yet but um <laughs> rain does not look like it's going to be letting up really anytime soon which really sucks because we can't finish this field now um so another thing that we are going to do is we are going to get our sprayer because we need to get spraying on grandma's we need to spray grandma's field and we need to also prepare for spraying this field and another thing that we're probably going to need to get is seed because uh i have a feeling we will need to buy some of that looks like jeff is back for the day um kind of nice that he's here because uh now we can actually go and do what we are supposed to do. So I'm gonna turn this bad boy off here. Holy crap, it's really coming down today, boys. Another thing we probably should do is turn off, let's close these doors here. And uh, I'll probably just have Jim Bob, Jim Bob, uh, probably just have him Turn everything, uh, we'll close, open one of the doors probably back over here because we'll probably park the sprayer somewhere over here unless we park it like back. Stay. I think we'll park it like back in this corner here because like nobody really uses this. So the wife said that she was actually down to take us to the uh, store. So what we are going to do is we are going to park... We're going to park the Can-Am actually over there in that corner. Um, I'm just going to park right here. This thing is loud. That's for sure. Uh, nothing is going anywhere today. That's for sure. Um, so the wife said that she was going to come down, come pick us up, and drop us off at the shop. So, see you guys when we get to the John Deere dealership wife the wife just dropped us off and we are actually done sending paperwork as well so what we are going to do now is we are going to go over here um i said that the door should be open and uh our sprayer should be in there and the keys are in at my hand so we're gonna jump up here nice turn this bed boy on this thing is actually a very very nice sprayer this is gonna be a long drive home with this thing actually goes 37 miles now this actually isn't gonna be as bad as i thought so i see you guys when we get to grandma's because we have to check out her place to make sure everything is growing good over there rolling up to grandma's right now uh, we are gonna check you field here um one thing that i gotta do is i also got i gotta reverse this gate because it opens the complete wrong way that it's from what it's supposed to um so actually since we are here i'm gonna show you guys some of new things that we bought as well um we have a new skid steer trailer and uh, we also bought something else that i'm not 100 percent sure if you guys are gonna approve or even like um we bought this bad boy this is a ford f800 yeah f800 with a service body at the back of it to go along it with that um kind of like the collectible area here and we're actually going to be taking this thing pretty soon to the dealership not to the dealership but to uh a shop that can help us revive that car so we're gonna be doing that to check this field growing everything like that so we do need to fertilize this field fertilize 20 yeah we need to 
do with that, that's for sure. Um, this field definitely needs to be fertilized, and uh, apparently it also needs lime. Um, probably not going to do any lime, to be honest with you guys, because uh, lime, not going to lie, kind of boring. So, um, hopefully everything goes well today. And, uh, well, actually, this is the last thing that we really have to do. So, technically, for now... I guess technically we can go home, put this in the shed, take a little bit of a nap or something. Um, kind of just sucks that, that we got rained out. Um, kind of had a feeling that we would. I knew we wouldn't make it the whole way. I knew we would make it all night, and then it got to like 7 o'clock in the morning when the sun started to come up and it started to downpour, which sucks because uh, I didn't want that to happen. Uh, but, you know, it's farming. You can't really dodge stuff like that, which really sucks. Rolling in it to the farm, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's getting a little uh, sketchy. Uh, some parts of the road back there were actually getting flooded. Um, check the radar, and it does not look like this rain is gonna be letting up for quite a little bit, um, which sucks because uh, it's that's not what we need right now. So. Hopefully uh, it doesn't go too bad and we are actually able to get stuff done because uh, that's what I kind of want right now. I kind of want to get everything planted so that we can kind of just like relax and not really have to worry about a single thing but we all know that is not going to happen because uh, once you're done with one thing, another thing just arises. Um, we are actually going to turn off the lights because uh, <laughs> Jeff is asleep in the office. Sent me a text on the way back that uh, he was going to be taking a nap in the office because there's nothing for him to do here. And uh, probably going to go in there with him, play some Xbox or something. Maybe, I don't know. Um, might invite him over into the house. Take a nap in there. Um, luckily, the heater is on inside here, which is quite nice. Um, it does suck though that like we got rained out. Um, nothing that I can really do about it. It just sucks. Oh, that's why we're not going back. Okay. Well, I think for now we are just gonna leave this. back here somewhere. Probably just gonna park it right there. Gonna leave the keys in the ignition like we do with every piece of equipment because yeah. Oh well what's the worst thing that can happen, right? Getting the can am we're gonna go home, probably gonna get soaked. But I guess so. I gotta get out of here before the door actually closes on us, but we are gonna be a okay. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with friends if you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting a gaming computer, please click the link in the description below this video. Apex Gaming PCs, absolutely fantastic computers. If you guys use code SQUAD, SQ, you guys can get 10% off. If you hit that correctly, 10% off. Using code SQUAD, SQ, UAD offers you 10% off of all purchases. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee.